understand. Welcome to the City Council meeting for February 16th, originally scheduled for February 8th. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, before we get going, I just want to remind people just what I had said. This meeting is originally scheduled for last week. Uh, due to the uh, snowstorm, City Hall was closed, was mm -hmm. postponed. We will meet next Monday night for City Council again. As that is set by ordinance, we have to meet again on next Monday night. So we'll have back-to-back -back City Council meetings, councillors. Item number one. <coughs> the appointment of a roll, Shannon, 288 West Chestnut Street, Brockton, as a constable in the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Refer to finance. <coughs> appointment of Elliot Edward Miller, member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Edward Downey, 42 Cushion Avenue, member of the Brockton Diversity Commission, three-year term ending <coughs> February 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Jacob Tagger, 122 Intervale Street, member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Uh, appointment of Andriano Gabral, 19 West Park Street, number three, is a member of the Proctor Diversity Commission for three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Maria de Pina Montero, 109 Drew Avenue, is to the Commission on Women's Issues for three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Patricia Sannon Eliasson, 82 Sawtell Ave, to the Commission on Women's Issue for three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Leona Martin, 101 Breer Circle, to the Commission on Women's Issues for a three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Nicole A. Gatling, 551 Pine Grove Drive, to the Commission on Women's Issues for a three-year term ending <coughs> February 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Kimberly Zozoza, 53 Gordon Street, to the Commission on Women's Issues, three-year term ending February 2019. Refer to finance. The report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of February 1, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. A communication from the Director of Social Services requesting the appropriation of grant award any amount of $425,000 from the Mass Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Service Grant for the City of Brockton Mayor's Office Substance Grant Fund. The funding is from February 1, 2016 through September 29, uh, 2020 prevent, reduce prescription drug misuse among high school age youth. There is no grant match from the city. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of social services requesting the acceptance and expenditures of an additional $70,000 from the Mass Department of Public Health <coughs> Bureau of Substance Abuse Services. Mass o Opiate Abuse Prevention <coughs> Collaborative Grant to Mayor's Office to help support pre-approved strategies of the Mass Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. And from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the DPW Commissioner requesting the acceptance and expenditures of the Mass DEP Mass Electric Vehicle Incentive Program and the amount of 15000 Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the emergency management director requesting that the city council authorize <coughs> the acceptance and expenditures of the fiscal 15 EMPG grant in the amount of $22,460 from the Commonwealth of Mass Emergency Management Agency fiscal 15 EMPG grant to BEMA EMPG grant fund. This funding will be used to purchase operational equipment for BEMA as well as the Emergency Operations Center. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO no, relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of the fire department requesting to accept and expend a total of $14,452 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety for Fire Safety Education Program for Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant, $10,937, and Senior Awareness of Fire Education Grant, $3,515. Accepted and placed on file. From the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 
324 of the Acts of 90, certifying the proposed appropriation from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Safety Student Awareness Fire Education Grant. That's Sh accepted and placed on file. Accepted and placed on file. From the Chief of the Fire Department requesting a transfer of $150,000 from education incentive to supplement overtime spending due to vacations and vacant positions, as well as unpredictable weather events, to maintain all companies through the remainder of fiscal 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the Chief of Police requests an authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Fiscal 16 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant, any amount of $125,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the City Auditor certifying that the balance of the Stabilization Fund as of February 2, 2016 is $3,394,830.57. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending the City Council authorize the appropriation of $104,000 from the Stabilization Fund to public pro property personal services other than overtime, $98,000, and to public property overtime, $6,000, in order to provide funding for labor costs to be incurred in Fiscal 16 for the two proposed collective bargaining agreements between the City of Brockton Building and Construction Trades for the period of July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO <coughs> certifying uh, with the condition that the fiscal 17 and beyond this cost will exasperate the budgeting imbalance described in this fiscal 16 budget letter and in the credit reports of Moody's and Standard and Poor. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws recommending the city council authorize the appropriation of $400,000 from the stabilization fund to DPW Water P.S. other than overtime, $188,000. DPW Water Overtime, $61,000. DPW <coughs> Sewer Personal Services other than overtime, $114,000. DPW Sewer Overtime, $37,000. In order to provide funding for the labor costs to be incurred in fiscal 16 for the two proposed collective bargaining agreements between the city and the Mass Labor's District Council. Accepted and placed on file. Uh, conditional certification from the CFO is that fiscal 16 only because for fiscal 17 and beyond this cost will exasperate the budgeting imbalance described in his <coughs> fiscal 16 budget letter and in the credit reports of Moody's and Standard and Poor. Accepted and placed on file. And we have the appointment of ADS Pierre 69 Oakland Street, Brock Oakdale, strike that as a member of the cemetery's board for trustee for a five-year term in January 2021. That recommendation is favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? He's at. Yes. Fine. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The appointment is approved. The appointment of Stephen Pena, 67 Debbie Road, Brockton, is a member of the Brockton Park Commissioner for a five-year term ending January 20, uh, January 2021. In Council, January 25th, ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Craig Pina of 21 Bassett Road, Brockton, is a member of the planning board for five year term ending in <coughs> January 2021 and council January 25th, 2016. Ready to refer the committee on finance. That report is favorable as amended. Questions on the amendment. All those uh, in favor? Yeah. Councillor. Mr. Chairman, the amendment. We are right now voting on the amendment, so it will, it will reflect that after we approve the amendment. 
Uh, question is on adoption of the amendment. All those in favor? Opposed? The amendment is accepted. Question is now on confirmation by roll call vote. Will clerk please call the roll? Hayes Hat. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Colbert. No. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. <coughs> the appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Tony Branch of 25 <coughs> Montello Extension, Brockton, as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three year term ending January 2019 and Council January 25th. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Hazak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Overgaard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farmer. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Lebanon, the, the appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Pelage Massillon of 175 Prospect Street, Brockton, as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three year term and in January 2019. Uh, Reading for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk <laughs> please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. 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 The appointment is confirmed. <coughs> Lynn Lally Silver of 207 Country Club Lane, Brockton, is a member of the Brockton University Commission, three-year term ending January 2019, and Council January 25th, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Janet Trask, 121 Longwood Avenue, Brockton is a member of the Brockton University Commission, three-year term in January 2019, and Council January 25th, 2016. That report is favorable. Question is on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Lebanon in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. The appointment of Maria Ducanto of 8 Carey Street, Brockton, as a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for a three year term ending January 2019. And Council January 25th, 2016. For the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. <coughs> The appointment is confirmed. Ordered that the city hereby adopts the old colony regional natural hazard <coughs> mitigation plan as this jurisdiction's hazard mitigation plan and resolves to execute the actions in this plan. In Council January 25th, 2016, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Order that the mayor be authorized to execute a development agreement between the City of Brockton and Eagle Advertising LLC, a mass limited liability company, having a usual place of business at two, uh, 323 Manley Street, West Bridgewater, for an electronic advertising board with digital copy to be located at 405 Westgate Drive, Brockton. Refer to finance. We have an appropriation of $425,000 from the Mass Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Service Grant to the City of Brockton Mayor's Office Substance Grant Fund. The funding is from February 1, 2016, September 29, 2020. This funding will go out to bid for coalition to manage. Refer to finance. An appropriation of an additional $70,000 from Mass Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Service, Mass Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant to Mayor's Office Mass Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant Fund to help support pre-approved strategies of the Mass Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant through High Point Treatment Center 
Brockton Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant that works with communities of Brockton, Whitman, Hanson, East Bridgewater, Rockland. These additional grant funds increase the current fiscal 16 maximum obligation from $100,000 to $170,000. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $15,000 from Mass Department of Environmental Protection, Mass Electric Vehicle Incentive Program to DPW Refuge Division, Ordinary Maintenance Services, Department Equipment Lease, Mass Electric Vehicle Program Grant Fund for the purpose of leasing two battery electric vehicles to be used by city inspectors and city personnel and will be visible within the city. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $22,460 from the Commonwealth of Mass Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 15 EMPG Grant to BEMA EMPG Grant Fund. This funding will be used to purchase operational equipment for BEMA as well as the Emergency Operations Center. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $14,452 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Public Safety Fiscal 2016 Student Awareness and Fire Education Safe Grant, $10,937. The Brockton Fire Department Fiscal 16 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund and from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Safety Fiscal 2016 Senior Awareness and Fire Education Grant, $3,515 to Brockton Fire Department Fiscal 16 Senior Awareness of Fire Education Staff Grant Fund, $3,515. Refer to finance. Appropriation $150,000 from the Fire Department Personal Services other than overtime, to Fire Department Personal Services overtime to supplement overtime spending due to vacation and vacant positions, as well as unpredictable weather events for the remainder of the winter season to maintain all companies through the remainder of fiscal year 2016. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $125,000 from the Mass Executive <coughs> Office of the Human Services, Fiscal 60 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 16 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation totaling $104,000 from the Stabilization Fund to Public Property Personal Services other than overtime, $98,000, and to Public Property Overtime, $6,000, in order to provide funding for the labor costs to be incurred in Fiscal 16 for the two proposed collective bargaining agreements between the City of Brock City and Brockton Building and Construction Trades for the periods of July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2016. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $400,000 from the Stabilization Fund to DPW Water PS other than overtime, $188,000. DPW Water Overtime, $61,000. DPW Sewer PS other than overtime, $114,000. DPW sewer overtime, $37,000. In order to provide funding for the labor costs to be incurred in fiscal 16 for the two proposed collective bargaining agreements between the city and the Mass Laborers District Council on behalf of the public employees, local union 1162, water and sewer for the period of July 1, 2013 through June 30th, 2016. Refer to finance. Resolved that representatives from the city's Board of Health, Building Department, and School Department be invited to appear before a committee of this council to provide information and discuss the current usage and locations of automated external defibrillators, AED, in city and school properties in order to provide a safe and healthy environment for employees, students, visitors, and residents. Refer to finance. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, before we get into the last uh, stated, uh, I'd like to take a moment of personal pri pri privilege, if I may. You may. Uh, it's actually two moments of personal privilege. First one is to uh, follow up to uh, a statement I made a few weeks ago. Myself and my three uh, Councilor at Large colleagues are having a historic uh, meeting. It's going to be quarterly meetings relative to a citywide Councilor at Large meeting. First one is set for a week from this coming Thursday, which is going to be February 25th, starting 6 o'clock at North Middle School, which is at 108 Oak Street. Uh, we encourage anybody and everybody within the seven wards and 28 precincts to please join us. Uh, Councilor at Large, uh, Shana Barnes, Moises Rodriguez, 
and Wynn Farwell Jr. and myself are uh, hosting it. And again, it's, uh, it's gonna be really beneficial, I believe. Uh, last thing is, um, councilors, as you recall, uh, three of you are new to the council, but as you recall, uh, my brothers and sisters on the council, I filed a resolve last legislative session relative to the Ganley building. Uh, in light of uh, the Commission of Education today's support of the for-profit charter school, I'm gonna fast track that resolve again. I believe that's an asset that the Commonwealth should give back to the city of Brockton due to the fact that we conveyed it for a dollar nominal consideration to the Commonwealth in good faith because we were told by then Governor DeVal Patrick that it would be used, that building will be used as a college collaborative with three institutions of higher learning. That, that this current, as you know, this current governor has cut that funding uh, and I, I really find it detrimental and really concerning uh, that the current governor and also uh, the commissioner are supporting charter schools and I think we need that back. So I am gonna be fast tracking that resolve. I encourage anybody and everybody to please sign that on and uh, that will be uh, on the next uh, coming agenda. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Mr. Pratt. Councilor O'Lally. I have two moments of personal privilege. You may. Uh, the first moment is I will be having my first ward meeting uh, February 24th, which is a Wednesday at 7 p.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School. And on March 5th, Saturday, March 5th, there will be a, a uh, Litho sort of a Lithuanian Heritage Day. Uh, that begins at, there's a mass at 4 p.m. And there's an event afterwards at St. Michael's Church, which is on 87 North Main Street, in Avon. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Stadensky. President, thank you. I'm a moment of personal privilege. Please. You may. I'm, I'm announcing a wide meeting for Ward 4 on Thursday evening, the 25th of February at 7 p.m. <laughs> at the Davis School. Uh, the main focal point will be the Route 28 corridor that passes uh, through and impacts the uh, people of Ward 4. And I'm sure there will be other items will be brought up. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Mr. President, Councilor. President, I hereby uh, make a motion and move. Excuse me, Councillor. Not yet. All right. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> Councillor Ianieri. Thank you, Mr. President. If I if I could have a moment of personal privilege. You may. Thank you. And I just want to uh, just want to take a couple of seconds um, because I think sometimes we don't do it enough, and we need to commend some of our workers that were out working this weekend on North Main Street in probably one of the coldest Saturdays and Sundays that we've had since. I believe it was 1957. And it seems like when we have this type of a freeze, we always end up in a predicament where we have some type of a, a main uh, a pipe that bursts or causes us some type of a, uh, effect where we have to have our people out there working in these cold, frigid um, uh, temperatures, trying to do whatever they can to make sure that the uh, city is safe and, and that the residents receive water um, back as fast as they can. So. Um, you know, with that being said, and I know it's not my area, but we all represent the city of Brockton, and, and uh, I was up by there a couple of times, and uh, unbelievable, the Omen's job that they, they did, the DPW work as water, sewer, everybody involved, even police department and fire were, were also a part of it, and uh, I just want to um, keep that in mind, and, and just a sidetrack of that, we lose track as well as, as not commending sometimes our public safety officials for all that they do, police, fire, policemen, uh, you know, our women in our fire department, and they've been doing an omens job over these past few weeks and in, in, in doing what I call saving a lot of lives. So we need to keep that in mind that uh, these people are working hard for, uh, for us here in the city, um, and, and they're definitely city of champions. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Anyone else? Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, I hereby make a motion and move to go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21, 21, Subsection 3, to discuss strategy with respect to pending litigation involving the Brockton Power v. City of Brockton at all case, as an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the City Council. Second. Second. A motion is made to go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Laws 30A, Section 21-3, to discuss strategy with respect to pending litigation involving the Brockton Power versus City of Brockton et al. case, as an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the City Council. The motion has been properly seconded and requires a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. The order is adopted. The motion is adopted. As chair, I hereby declare that having the discussion in an open session may be detrimental to the public body's bargaining or litigating position. Uh, for the public's information, I'd like to note that the committee will not reconvene an open session after the executive session. There is no other further business before us. We will, uh, we will now reconvene in the uh, council room in the back. <laughs>